So in this video, I'm going to explain relative dates with data modules, how to do reporting on relative dates, and how the calendar impacts that. So you can use relative dates in Cognos Analytics in 11.1.1. The calendar establishes the reporting periods. The calendar has 18 filters for time, such as year to date and current period, for example. The big thing you need to do is relate the calendar to the, to the data. Currently, months must begin on the first day of the month. We ship the calendars as part of the example. So the first thing I'm going to do is build a data module. So I'll go into team content, go into files where I have a spreadsheet data of sales. Go ahead and select just one of the tabs from my spreadsheet, which has just some sales information. Across a couple of years. I'll select that and you can see the columns in the grid display. I'll scroll out to the right. You can see the various information that's available. Some product lines and product types and that type of information. I'm going to add a secondary source, which is the calendar. I need to relate this data to a calendar. So I go to calendars. We ship the 12 calendars. In this example, I'm going to use April to March. So you'll see the calendars at the top. It's green because it's linked and we grayed it out because by default, they're not exposed to the report authors. So we need to create a linkage between order date and the calendar. We go into properties. And you'll see there's a column called lookup reference. We'll link that to the fiscal calendar. And then I'll look at sales revenue, which is the actual amount I want to do my analysis on. I link that to the date column. So that creates the relationship between the data and the calendar. I need to format that revenue column. So I can highlight at the top of the column, set the format. I'm doing this in the data module just to make it easier so I don't have to format in the report. It's carried through. So I'm going to set it to currency, set the number of decimals to two, just makes it cleaner when I'm doing my reporting. Save it in my demo folder. We'll give it a name that makes sense when I go to build reports off it. And then we'll go build a report. So you'll notice the data modules in my recents. We'll go and say create a report. I'm going to create a simple blank report and add the items I want into that report. We'll build a report that has a table two by two, so I have four cells. And in the top left corner, I'm going to put a text item. So I'll go to my toolbox, bring in a text item. I just want to have a description for as of date because one of the things you can do with relative dates is do as of date reporting. Create a cell called as of date. Then I'll go and create a calculation of what the as of date is. Bring that in. It's actually a parameter called as of date that's set up in the Cognos system. So I just drag and drop as of date. Say OK. So now I have two items are in my report. So I'll add a list report at the bottom left corner of my report. Go back to my data items. And I'm going to drag specific items in. So the first thing I want is the product line. So that's the various products that we have sales for. And then I'm going to bring in the measures that I want. And those measures are based on the relative time. So I bring in year to date sales and prior year to date sales. So I'm going to do year over year comparison. I'll add a calculation year to date minus prior year to date. And then it's got a really long description, so I want to give it something a little simpler. So I highlight that. We'll call it variance, year to date, prior year to date. If someone's using this report, they'll know what that amount field is for. Go ahead and say OK. You'll see that I have my information there now. I'm going to run the report. So I run that quickly, and you'll see the data, product line, year to date, prior to date, and variance. My as of date is, is 1120. So I'm going to go back to my report definition, and I'm going to change the as of date. I'm going to change when I'm reporting as of. In this case, I'm going to go back into May. We'll pick a date in May. Apply. And I'm just going to run that report again. 
close the as of date. As we run the report, you'll see that the amounts all changed and the as of date changes. I'm reporting up to that point in time. So in this example, I'm reporting up to May 27th of 2018 versus May of 2017. So we'll save our report. And then I'm going to go build another data module, the exact same approach, but using a different calendar, just to show you the impact that the calendar has on the data that's displayed. So my report's great. New data module. We use that exact same file. Sales file, that same tab, say OK. So the same data you saw earlier, but this time I'm going to add a different calendar. So in this case, the calendar is going to be January to December. So I'll go into the fiscal calendars. January, I could pick Gregorian calendar, which is what that actually is. I relate the order date to the calendar in the same way. So the lookup reference, the fiscal calendar, the sales revenue, same thing. I'll link it to the date so that everything is set up. I'll save this data module under a different name, and then we'll build a report on this data module as well, just to show you a difference. Relative dates has to do with the dates that are reported from the underlying data based on a calendar view. So I'll go ahead and go back to the home screen and I'll build a report here. We'll build the exact same report as you saw before. The reason behind this, you'll notice the numbers are higher because we're including more months. Remember when I did the first report, we were going from April to March, so it's a smaller number. Now we're going from January to May. January to May, which is five months, versus April to May, which is only two months. So my sales values would be quite a bit higher. So you can use different calendars depending on the analysis you need to do. Currently, the restriction is you can only have one calendar in any one data module for relative date. So we'll go ahead and put the as of date as you saw me do before, create a quick list. And then I'll go to the data items and drag product line, and then we'll expand the sales revenue. And you'll notice all the various different values of sales revenue I can use. So year to date, prior year to date, again, I'll do that variance calculation. And then we'll quickly show you the values. Give it a, a nice clean name again, variance, year to date, prior year to date. It's quite helpful when you're building reports for relative dates to include the as of date, because that really drives how the report renders, particularly if you're using year to date, month to date, that type of information where you're using complete periods, usually the user can understand what it is they're seeing. So you notice the values are quite a bit higher. Thank you.